I think on a halloumi. Yeah. It's halou, halloum. Halloum, yeah. It's much better. Someone said someone said to me that if if there's if you're in a silent movie and you want to look really sexy, yeah. you have to say the word faluka. Um, but I think now actually the word you need to say is halloum. Halloum. <laughs> So you've won several awards for your chief. About 22 awards between worldwide, nationwide, best cheese in Yorkshire, rich cheese awards. Yeah. What an incredible... It is. What an incredible imagination. That's astonishing. Yeah. <laughs> Given that you've been here for seven years, yeah. it's... You know, I, I sort of, you know, they say change happens to your body and to your psyche and yeah. your marriage, you know, every, every seven yeah. years. If you could even go further back and say to yourself, you know, where you were 10 years ago, did you ever think you would be in Yorkshire I making always, cheese? I always think about this. It, basically, I didn't do any cheese before. When I was in Syria, I used to do uh, pharmacology. Mm -hmm. uh, we came here because of the war. I hope you will never express this mm. because when you are in a war, you feel the priority is the safety, just to live. Uh, the next step, then you start to think, what about the kids, what about the future, where to go, what to do. So maybe this is, will bring all this uh, entrepreneurial feeling that you need to do something. You need to face the challenges. Other people, you look back 10 years ago or another person that you've encountered in your time here in England who's been kind of pivotal or very important? What did help me actually when I came here is the belief that the mentor gave me. They, she always told me, you can do it. I can feel that you will success. Then I felt I will do something. I will make something. And food always maybe it got something with love. People, mm. when you mm. feed somebody, then they feel thankful. With having people working at our factory now, nine people coming every day to it's our factory yeah. making cheese and then they feed their own families so um, i think this is the best how to to give uh, back to the community to thanks back that the place where it become our home uh, if you ask my son where are you from I say oh, i'm from Huddersfield. <laughs> <laughs> so you know yeah. you're you're absolutely settled it's funny people often talk about you know, the, the, the global displacement crisis and, and uh, the issues that are facing refugees is something that is so insurmountable. But that small vote of confidence had an enormous impact on, you know, you being where you are now and you having the capacity to give back. Yeah, I think everybody uh, got a role to play to support each other because at the end of the day, we are from the same community and we need really to get support each other to keep it strong. Yeah, and positive. And positive and, as well. And, you know, incredible things yeah. come out of that. Absolutely. But the cheese that you make, that, I mean, I, I'm a big cheese fan. <laughs> but it's actually, it is such a hybrid between, like, where you've come yeah. from and Yorkshire. I mean, as you say, it's like it's made with Yorkshire cows. I don't know how yeah. they moo. But this is what I'm really excited about. This is the new one. Yeah. These are yogurt balls, right? Yes. Which I've had before yeah. when I was in the Middle East. But you're saying you made them you're kind of an English yes. version of them. Yeah, I always like to implement the local feeling at yogurt, cheese, and the, the oil we use is the rapeseed oil, Yorkshire rapeseed oil. That is so delicious. I think I might just slip that into my handbag. Mm -hmm.